If you love discovering new wines, you're going to love Nat DeCant's, Natalie McLean's website here that has a lot of information in this application about wine. So from the beginning here, you get your pairing section. You can choose your wine to see what foods pair well with that, or you could choose your food to see which wines pair well with that food. So for example, let's just choose chicken here, and just basic chicken. Uh, and they have, of course, a lot of different options in here. And it gives you a lot of different wines that you can choose from. A ton of different wines, even some teas, uh, some hard alcohol, liquor and some other different drinks as well so and even cider non-alcoholic so there are a lot of different drinks in here it's not just about wine even though the most of uh, this app is about wine so for example we tap on this merlot option here and it shows us a lot of different merlot wines that we can choose from some of them are cheaper some of them are quite a bit expensive now even though not all of us are going to be buying expensive wines it's really nice to have a full review available so if we were going to be purchasing an expensive bottle of wine we could at least read a review on it first so let's say I really like this wine and I wanted to add it to my wish list for one day because yeah I'm probably not gonna buy it right now but in the future I might so I just added this wine to my wish list. I can go back to the pairings here and start over again. I can also go into reviews and read free reviews or premium reviews. There is a subscription service that she offers with her reviews, but there are also a lot of free reviews for you to read as well. So we can just simply tap on full review and it's going to go ahead and load up and pull in that full review for us that we can read and then of course we still have that option to add that wine to either our shopping list, our wish list, our seller or our consumed seller meaning that we've drank the bottle already. So let's just go ahead and add this one to my seller just so I could show you that. So when you add it to your seller, there's a little bit more information. You enter how many bottles you purchased. So let's say I got one and I haven't consumed it yet. I can choose from all of this optional information as well and the purchase date. Let's just go ahead and save this in my seller. And now it has been added to my seller. So I could tap on seller and see that in my seller I have three bottles. It's given me a seller value so I know how much uh, value I have in my seller. I can add additional wines. I can view my wish list or go to my consumed seller to see which wines I have actually consumed and the value of the amount of wine that I've consumed. Under share and you'll see under most of the reviews that there is a Facebook and Twitter icon you can share information about this app as well as each individual wine uh, as you see these icons right here you could share with other people. Under the more section there is a ton more information and you could even edit these say you want one of these buttons down here instead you can swap out some of these buttons so there are lots of articles her blog books you can contact Natalie there's a glossary a newsletter recipes and even winery locations in this app as well so there is a lot of information in this application for its relatively small price so I recommend that you check it out if you're looking for more wine information and a way just to get more uh, knowledge on wine this is a great tool for that